to my channel. I am Montori if you are new. So you guys, I decided to go ahead and start bringing the architecture here to my channel. Um, yeah, y'all, so if you do not know, I am an architecture student and I create my own designs. I design quite a few things. No, I am not a licensed architect. I am still a student. Um, eventually, I will get there. But right now, you guys, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've been designing. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Um, yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. So, what do we have here? Alright y'all, so this here is a home that I designed and I call it my lovely home and it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhome. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get inside. So here as you can see, this part here is the entry. So I have it set as I have it two huge double doors. So you come in through these huge double doors. Um, we have glass windows here on the side. Um, so once you come in, you will, you will reach this area here. So this area here, it will be a huge, gorgeous chandelier. And yeah, just a gorgeous foyer and the chandelier. So I also have um, here on the side, you can see I have a carport garage. So you can actually park your car here. And then I have a door that will allow you to enter from the garage into the home. So you can just enter through the garage or you can enter through the front door. So once you come in, you're here at the foyer with the chandelier, and as soon as you enter, you're here into the kitchen. So with me, when I was designing this home, I was designing it as an eat-in kitchen. Um, so I made this huge, gorgeous island, and this island here, you guys, this island is over 10 feet, and you can fit up to six people on this island, which I really, really enjoy. So I just put four um, bar stools here. I also have a pantry here so you can have your food close to the kitchen. All right, so once you get through the kitchen, you can turn right here to the left. And right here you have a closet. And I just really am, am big on storage because here in my apartment, I feel like we never have enough closet space for storage. So when designing my homes, I really focus on having a lot of storage areas. So I put a closet here. So this first room here is a study. I designed this as a study room. So it can be like an office or just like a little guest bedroom when you want someone not there that long, you can put them here in this room. So this is not a huge room, but it is a nice size. So this room in total is um, 14 by 14. So it's a pretty good size room, but I like I said, I'm just using it for a study. Um, I have some gorgeous windows here on the side they are floor to ceiling windows they're really really gorgeous give you nice gorgeous light all right and we also have a closet here inside this room so once you leave out this room right across from it is the master bedroom um i just put the master bedroom at the first level because i just i don't know i just like master bedrooms downstairs and you put all the kids and everyone else upstairs so right here i put the master bedroom so when you come in, you have your huge master bedroom. This master bedroom is humongous, you guys. The bedroom itself is 22 feet, and it's really gorgeous. It's 22 by um, 14, so it's really, really long. It's not really wide, but it's extremely long, so you can fit a lot of things inside of here. So here I have a closet area here. Um, you can have your bed. It is big enough for a California king. We have our window space here. And then on this wall here, you can just add your TV or your wall mirror or just whatever you like. You can add that here. Okay, so when you come all the way in, y'all, something on me. Okay, let me move that. <laughs> oh, it's a piece of hair. <laughs> all right, y'all, so when you come all the way in to the bedroom, let me fix this. Hold on. Kind of moved it. Okay. So when you come in through the bedroom, you will be here at your restroom. So the restroom, I did do a double vanity for his and hers, as well as a toilet area. And also, you know that in some restrooms, they have an area where you can like um, clean down there. It's like a, it's not a toilet, but it's kind of, I'll put the name right here on the screen. So you have a toilet and you also have that cleaning toilet that cleans your body. Okay, and then right across from that, you have your stand-up shower and tub combination. I'm thinking about adding a tub separately into this um, room. 
I don't know if I really want the shower and the tub together, so I may add a tub in here as well and just redo the restroom design in this room. Um, but just stick along for that if I do change it, so be sure to subscribe so you can see what um, changes I make in the near future. Alright, so when you come out of that room, you're back at the kitchen. Like I said, that is the master bedroom. So you come out and you're back at the kitchen. So here, you're through your kitchen. Alright, so when you get through the kitchen, you have your humongous, you guys, this living room is humongous. This living room is actually um, 21 feet by 14 feet. So it's a really, really big um living room you can actually fit your dining room table in the living room if you're into that me personally i don't really like dining rooms i feel like they're a waste of space people don't ever really use them so instead of having a dining room i actually added this area here so this area here is a sitting area and i actually face the chairs towards this wall here and if you're wondering what this wall here is this wall here it will be a glass wall so it'll be floor to ceiling glass wall and you can see directly into your backyard I'm really big on nature and outside so like some days I wish that I could just like sit in a chair and I could just look outside and just watch all the rain you know so I made this little area right there or the snow or whatever it is you can just literally sit in these two chairs look out here into your backyard and so I just really like that aspect and part of it okay so when you come through here um so okay so we're at our living room we're at our little sitting area where you can see outside which is super gorgeous and then right across from that you have your um half bathroom so this is the only bathroom um for guests downstairs it's just the toilet and a sink i may have to add one more um bathroom no i don't actually because this area here is a study so since this is a study, it's not a full bedroom, I don't know if I'm going to add a tub to this restroom. I'm not really quite sure. But uh, like I said, I'll let y'all know if I do change it. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified each time a new video comes out. So yeah, we have our toilet and our sink combination here for this half bath right across from the backyard. So here we are at our backyard. With this backyard, it will be a deck full of grass, just a nice backyard. You can have dogs, you can barbecue, you can have a party, whatever you like. Um, and you can go through the backyard to the house. Also here on the backyard, you can reach the backyard from outside. So if you need to put your trash around or whatever you need to do, you also have the way to have your backyard attached to outside. Okay, so let's get to upstairs. So I showed you all this whole floor plan. Let's go through it one more time if you missed it. So you have your entry here, you have your car here, or you can fit, fit two cars here. So you have your double carport and you also have extra car space here. The street is here and yeah. So you can have your double cars. You come in, you know, you can go do your work and your study. You can do your master bedroom right here, your kitchen, your um, huge island. Also, you have your humongous living room with the sitting area to look outside. You also have a half bath for um, guests. So, okay, we're here to the stairs. So when you come to the stairs, if you notice, you see these lines here. So these lines are windows, you guys, and these are a whole bunch of like little windows i'll show you when i actually built the design like the um rendering of it i'll show you those windows but as you walk up the stairs you'll be able to see outside i'm really big on bringing outside inside but without having outside inside if that makes sense so when you come up the stairs you can look through on the side of the stairs you can see all the greenery from outside and you see this line here this line here is a green wall so this wall will be full of trees and plants and everything this whole wall is just full of green and this is your own personal green wall for this unit well for this home so when you go upstairs you can just be looking at the flowers you can see the rain you can see the snow you can see the sunshine and you can just go ahead and get up those stairs all right so once you reach the upstairs mark okay so we got through our whole unit of downstairs all right so we got that Alright y'all, so once you get to the upstairs, then we are over here. But before we get to the upstairs, you guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching.
Alright you guys, so when you get upstairs, so here's your stairs. So once you get up those stairs, you're here. You're at this stage here. So once you come off the stairs, you can go to the left and this is your laundry room. This is the HOV room. This is where you have your water heater, your laundry, everything that you need as far as laundry, it goes inside of this room. Okay, so right across from the laundry room, we have a full bathroom. It's a toilet, it's a sink, it's a shower and a tub combination. So you have your bathroom upstairs. Okay, so this area here, this area is where you put your pool table, where you put your game stuff, your arcades, whatever you want upstairs, this is that area right here. Also, this area looks over below, so when you're in your unit, like say you're here playing like pool, you can look over and you would see your, once you look over, you will see um, your backyard, you will see the chairs, the sunroom. You'll see all that once you look over, which is really, really gorgeous, and I really like the aspect. So, okay, you have that area, and it's open to below. Also, you have here your hallway, and you have another bedroom. So with this bedroom, this is a nice size bedroom. Um, it has a nice bed window. Um, I haven't made a closet storage yet for this unit, well, for this bedroom, but I definitely will be putting a closet into this bedroom. And then you come to your next bedroom. So the last bedroom is this one here. It has enough space for a bed, has enough space for an office, table, and a closet. I'm thinking about adding on to this bedroom, like adding more space like out here and like putting another sitting area or maybe like a sunroom or something. I'm thinking about adding that to this area here. But like I said, I'll show y'all more updates as I continue to design this home. This home is very dear to my heart. Please no one steal my ideas or anything because this all is Latoria Lee. But all right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Once again, I am Latoria, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!